Hi everybody. How are you guys? <laughs> um, I just woke up. It's Easter. Happy Easter to everybody who does the Easter thing. Um, we had fun yesterday at Mom's, and I'll tell you guys all about that later. But what I have to tell you right now, I gotta get out before I totally forget any piece of it. But I had the most odd dream today. I, you know, it's it's one forty Central Time. Um, you know, and normally my dreams are pretty, um, I don't know, boring, I guess. I don't, I know, horrible, sorry. Um, but anyway, um, normally my dreams are pretty boring. <coughs> Excuse me, but I had the weirdest dream I think I've ever had. Um, uh, it started out with me and my husband and my mom and my, I think my brothers were there too. Um, we all were, and I want to say it was Vegas, but don't hold me to that. It was just, it just seemed like Vegas in my dream, but it may not have been. But we were, we started out at this sort of a, like a water park thing. And <clears throat> it was really cool. The water park was really cool. We had, it had, um, not only did it have like the, the like the fake ocean and the, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, the fake ocean and the <clears throat> slides and all that stuff. But it also had these cool water sculptures where they showed how you how they could make the water change color as it was kind of like a water fountain, a waterfall, I mean, flowing. And the water would change from red to green to not blue I don't remember blue I remember red and green and purple I want to say anyway but there were different colors and then there were these different boxes that had different weird um, balloon looks like balloon shaped w balloons with water in them shaped differently and stuff but they were just ways you could form water using some other method I don't even know but anyway so that was the first part and that was kind of neat to dream that I was like this is really cool you know um, but then I guess there was a time lapse and you know cut to me and my husband at the airport and I, I want to say my mom was there too there were a bunch of people it seemed like there were a bunch of people we were having a walk to the airport for whatever reason which you know <laughs> that's some, I'm sure my crazy mind somehow thought that up um, <clears throat> So anyway, so we're walking to the airport. We finally get there. Um, I'm I feel bad at the time because I'm you know I just got done walking and I just want to sit down and relax or whatever. So we get we get to the thing, and um, we it's it's daytime when we get there, but we ha we're having to wait on our flight, so time is passing of course sorry about the hands <laughs> but so time passing and I'm trying to remember as fast as I can um, anyway at some point my husband gets up to no he's sitting there and he's he's on his computer he's got his computer in his lap and he's doing something like playing a game or something like that well, anyway, by this time it's night, and I look over to the sky, and I see just a blue saucer, for lack of a better word. I see it's a blue light, so it, but it look, kind of looks shaped like a saucer. And I'm looking at it, and I think, I'm just imagining this, or, or it's something like a plane or whatever, because we're at the airport. Um... <clears throat> But all of a sudden, the it starts splitting into separate pieces across the sky. <coughs> I'm sorry, I just woke up. Like I said, <laughs> let me let me open this real quick. Sorry. Okay, yes, I've apologized five times. Um, okay, so it splits out into these pieces, and they're they're not pieces of the whole. They're like like um, other saucers. They're splitting out. And I spin over around to Darren and I say, um, 
go go to the news, change to the news, look at the news, you know, because I'm like, this is this is bad. Whatever this is is bad. Um, and he's like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? So um, he's trying to get to the the news, and by that time, these saucers or these ships start coming at us, and they're firing. They're firing lasers or whatever, um, and obviously it's it's blowing things up as the each thing hits. Uh, so, um, you know, we're trying to get somewhere where we're not going to get hurt and they pass by and they, they, you know, they fire and a bunch of people are killed and hurt and everything and they, these things fly by and are gone. So, okay. So he and my husband and I, we, we're, we're okay. Obviously we're scared <laughs> as hell, but we get up and we, you know, we try to, everybody's trying to help each other to see if everybody, who's okay and what's going on and everybody's panicked and everything. So I get up and, um, kind of gather ourselves, you know, and he has to use the restroom. So he, he walks away from me and, um, you know, just stay here. I'll be right back. That kind of a thing. And he goes and he's using the restroom. Well, I decide I'm going to just because right beside where we are is like the outside part of the building. So because I look up and the ceiling's all jacked and, you know, it's, it's like mass chaos. So I walk outside and there's grass out there. And um, I look up the other direction where the things went and they're all coming back and this is where it gets kind of freaky <laughs> and it's obviously freaky so far but anyway so I look the other direction where they came back where they left and they're coming back and I see them and I just know I just know at that moment I know I'm gonna die so I just laid down and I knew my husband was gonna die too so I didn't think there would I mean in this this is these are thoughts in my head in this moment I'm thinking there's no reason for me to run because my husband's gonna die and I don't want to be without him and I mean I'm I'm obviously somewhere in there I'm thinking my mom's in this airport too and there's no way they, they even know this is happening so I lay down on the grass and one of these ships comes over and fire it's kind of like uh, Independence Day you know where they fire the Thing into the building and the whole building blows up it's like that and I just felt the the heat from the fire come up from under the ground and through me and it was the weirdest thing because I felt complete peace and I heard a voice whisper yes in my head when this fire came through so that and I knew that was that okay so that's the dream so then I I of course at that moment I wake up kind of startled obviously um, and I open my eyes and I look at the clock which is right in front of me and it says 12 12 on it now I guess I could have been more dramatic about that part but telling you I had to get that out <laughs> so that was it so I woke up and saw it and, it and it freaked me out obviously but I went back to sleep so um, there you go that was my dream what do you think about that <laughs> spooky university t this week is going to be about visitors and, and other beings and stuff so I've given away the topic but I don't care because I'm I want to know what you guys think about the stuff so um, tell me what you think about that dream. That was really weird. That was really, really strange. And I'm, I, you know, we had the dreams and nightmares topic over there on Spooky University and I thought it was really cool, the responses and stuff, but tell me what you think about that. <laughs> Would that have freaked you out? <laughs> All right. You guys have a great weekend. I hope you have a happy Easter and I'll talk to you really soon. Bye.